the backstory is this pregnant bunny was dropped off with Vicky by her owners because they discovered she was pregnant. They had an unneutered male and an unspayed female. So this is what it looks like when a rabbit is pulling their fur to create a nest. I've never seen this before. Oh my God, I think she's having a baby. Is she having a baby? Maybe. Could her milk have stopped producing because there's something wrong with her? Um, that's a possibility. If her milk stops... But you tried making her feed them, though. Did it work? We thought it was working. The babies were suckling. Today, it didn't seem like there was milk in in the mommy. I didn't see it once on the camera. Right. Like, not even... I a... saw it once. So why would the mom stop feeding the baby? Um, there's several reasons a mom might stop feeding the Is baby. Is it just that, like, she doesn't care anymore? You know, I mean, I suppose there are mothers who that happens to. Then we, we try to come in with the formula, but the formula is not as good. It, there is no rabbit formula that's been perfected, and now we're switching it to something that's not as perfect as the mother's milk. And some babies will adjust, and they'll do fine, and they'll survive. And what happens with babies is they get diarrhea. And so <sighs> diarrhea will kill a baby. And so then you have to start applying it with medicine to stop that from happening on top of giving it this other formula. And so we don't know what's gonna happen then. This is colostrum, which colostrum is what um, you get in mother's milk when you're born and you drink breast milk and it's an important part of the breast milk. The other thing we have is KMR, which is kitten milk. But kitten milk is not the perfect food for bunnies, so we have to enhance it. And so we enhance it with a very small amount of cream, which makes it richer and fresh goat's milk, not the powdered kind. It has to be fresh goat's milk. You have to get it to the right temperature and then we feed it to them. I think we probably do it, I think, just did it twice a day. Recipe for it. Yeah, and I think because moms, bunny moms usually just feed once a day. When we do it by hand, we, we do it twice a day, I think, at least, yeah. Just one left, guys. He looks like an old man with like a beard. You are so sweet, baby. I know you're so hungry. Your mommy doesn't have any milk for you. Yeah, open. it just opened the eyes yesterday. They're just sort of opened. You can see that they're not all the way open and that could be partially just because she's not well because she's not eating. She's safe. I have to be really careful not to get it up the nose, which yeah. is so close there. Now, now she's getting used to the hard nipple having it. And... Oh, there we go. There you go. Oh my God, I'm dying right now. You don't even know. Look at this. So um, so it's the bunny's 26th day today. She's not quite a month old. She is really got a will to live, but her brothers died because either they didn't get enough milk and food or because there was something inherently wrong with them when they were born. And that could be the case with this bunny too. We don't know for sure, but we're hoping that we're giving her every chance to live and we're hoping that she's gonna make it. Oh my goodness, she's so cute. You can jump out of there. 
Lennon gave this to her as a gift. Her fleecy bed, <laughs> tunnel bed. And she also has a heating pad underneath, right? Yes, this little one with the paws on it. There you go. What are her chances of she surviving? Comes. Well, I think it's 50-50. She's very thin and very small for being almost a month old. She should be uh, maybe double the size that she is. And this, ladies and gents, is why the most natural way for rabbits to consume water is through a water bowl. That's correct. And not a bottle. You can see the little mohawk head full of hair sticking mm -hmm. straight up. That's that's where the hair comes off because the milk the milk crusts under there. So it's all bald under here right now, but that will all grow back in. That's a good girl. Yeah, isn't she cute? She might be a miracle baby. Maybe. The first time I weighed her, she was under two pounds. And today she's three and a half ounces. So she's doing really great right now. And as long as we can keep her from getting diarrhea, um, she should do okay. Between one and two months, she can still get really sick because she doesn't have her mama's milk. Look at those eyeballs. Wow, she's got the biggest eyes for such a tiny little head. Yeah, look at you. She looks really good, Vicky. She does look really good. In the third week, she lost all the yeah, hair. Yeah, she looks really sick. Yeah, she lost the belly hair, the neck hair, um, and we really didn't think she was gonna make Everyone it. Everyone thought she was gonna die. I think everybody did think she was gonna die. There's one more week that's critical now, until eight weeks, and then in eight weeks, I think she's pretty much past the danger. She's a real, she's a real little survivor, yeah. Yeah, yeah she is. Totally. 